Hello everyone here in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I am going to show you how you can cut a uh, regular 3.2 millimeter, this is 3 uh, 16th inch uh, birch plywood with our two main focusing lenses. So we have G2 lens and another golden one is G7 lens. Okay, Pasha is going to install the piece of plywood for our cutting. And meanwhile, let me uh, break your mind and a little bit uh, show uh, and do some math and explanations about uh, laser lens parameters. So let me show it on my white paper. I know that it's going to be a little bit complicated, but let me try explaining you. So we have a laser diode over here. We have a laser emitting crystal inside the laser collimator. And we have a lens that is installed into a laser uh, diode system. So we need to define some ranges that are important to follow once you install your laser inside the uh, laser diode collimator or barrel. So we have a laser diode here, a meeting spot, and the range from this uh, laser crystal to a uh, uh, lens should be 3.8 millimeters or from the end of the laser um, cap to a lens surface because the lens is, is inside the uh, optical system it's 2.7 millimeters and also the range from the end of the G2 lens from this barrel from collimator outside is 3.9 millimeters millimeters guys not centimeters and not inch and the best range we made uh, more tests and uh, experiments now the optimal range from the G2 lens end of the lens to the surface is 8.5 millimeters so it's less than one centimeter and that's good for our 10 watt water cooled laser Okay, we are going to cut a uh, piece of plywood. Uh, we are using parameters uh, 250 millimeters per minute and we are in, uh, cutting a uh, standard rectangle. Uh, so we are just showing you that this is the best uh, parameters for G2 So 250 millimeters per uh, minute. That's pretty good uh, speed. And you can see that it was cut just uh, after one repeat. Okay, let's turn off our air compressor and Pasha will now remove it and show you that it was cut. So uh, the thing is that we decided to change our, uh, slightly decided to change slightly those parameters because uh, now we uh, decide to cut with smaller laser beam spot with better focusing depth and also with higher uh, we call it power density so the power density for this laser beam spot is about 100 kilowatts on one um, square centimeter okay let's try with g7 lens so we're using g7 uh, lens it's also good for cutting and we're using that lenses in our 15 watt uh, dual lasers and uh, you can see what uh, parameters we have here so for G7 the range from the laser uh, from the laser diode uh, the, the laser diode cap to a lens uh, tube is 5.2 millimeters the range from here is 9 millimeters the range from the end of the laser oh sorry from the uh, focusing lens from the G7 from the end of the barrel of the diode out is 3.1 and the range from the end of the lens to the surface is 38 millimeters. Now, I know that's a little bit complicated but once you use our automate, uh, automated laser beam focusing system you don't need to think about it you just have um, have it uh, uh, set up press it up uh, laser and you just uh, it's it's doing that automatically but uh, the good thing about our optical system that you can adjust 
the size of the laser beam spot it can be for example like this but with or uh, i mean much smaller but you can have it like this you can have it like this so it's all different focal depth and different uh laser power density okay let's do laser cutting okay we don't have air assist here so far she's carrying it uh, in his hand but uh yeah, okay you can see the laser uh, went through the piece of plywood. Probably it could be a little bit burned, but uh, in general, the same speed, uh, 200 millimeters uh, per minute. Uh, so a little bit less. We use 200 millimeters. In G2, it was 250. Here is uh, 200, and you can see it was was cut also quite well. Uh, probably if, uh, we would need to make like more repeats for particular these uh, maybe like two repeats with higher speed but we just wanted to show you that uh, you need to follow parameters and uh, know exactly mm -hmm. what range from the laser diode from the lens uh, laser lens from the laser lens cap to lens should be so i understand that might be a little bit complicated but i would be more than happy to help you and assist you can type your questions under this video or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three two in whatsapp or telegram or email me gf at endurance com. i'll be more than happy to answer your questions and visit our website endurance com and our online store endurance lasers.com have a great and wonderful experience with endurance lasers bye bye